Hey guys, so I got the craziest video request recently, and somebody said, why don't you draw with your most hated colors? And I looked at that comment and I thought, wow, that would be a great video idea. So I thought about what colors I hate, and I decided I don't hate any colors, but if there was a combination of colors that I would hate, it would be the colors that I held up in the beginning of the video. Magenta, poop brown, and olive green. That sounds disgusting together. So we're going to use those in this piece of art, and those are the only colors we will be using. We'll see if this turns out to be pretty, or if it just looks like a disgusting mess at the end. What do you think will happen? The comment of the day, I want you to tell me your most hated color combination. If you could pick three colors to go together that you think would look absolutely disgusting, like the most disgusting thing you could see, what would it be? Let me know in the comments. I am so excited to see all of the things you guys are going to say. I'm just so curious what other people think will look disgusting together. All right, let's talk about my drawing. This is something like way different than I would normally do. It's more of a cartoony, simpler kind of drawing. Well, since I'm choosing colors I wouldn't put together, I decided let's keep it small and simple to save ink since I'm only using three colors. I guess this is kind of like the ugly three marker challenge. I don't know. <laughs> As I said, though, I do love every color. It's just the combination of colors together that I don't like. So, yeah. I decided to draw this cute little dude, though, and I'm not really sure what he is. My inspiration came from, like, a penguin, an owl, and, like, those fish deep, deep in the sea, those bioluminescent things with the light, you know? I don't know what it's called. You can comment below if you know what it's called. I don't. So, that's what he is. He's this, like, creature formed from all of those <laughs> and he's just wandering about in the wilderness absolutely clueless like how did I get here I'm pretty happy to be here anyway even though I'm frowning I don't know <laughs> this was a really fun piece to make because it is so unusual for me <laughs> so I had a grand old time it was great the color combination kind of seemed limiting though but, I mean, I wasn't really fond of these colors together, so that was the challenge to overcome. To be expected, right? I decided to use a lot of magenta to bring out the beautiful things, like his tie, I wanted it to pop out, the flowers, his feet, nose, and blush. I just wanted him to seem not like a scary monster, but like a cute, delicate one. Like a little poof in the field that you would want to squeeze and hug. So that's what he kind of is. And then I did normal colors for like the wilderness because why not? I have green. And then I used the brown for like shading and just random parts of the piece. I decided to just embrace the white background. I can't use all three of these colors to cover the entire surface of this piece because I think it would clash too much. So what I did was I used my colorless blender to lift color here and there and make different shades of each color. I thought about using colored pencils, but I wanted to strictly keep it as close as possible to these three colors that I chose, so... The color lifting was hardly noticeable, in my opinion. Anyway, I encourage you to try this challenge. It is very fun. However, it's very unexpected. I mean, for me it was. I thought for sure that I would absolutely hate this at the end. And I actually, I don't know, this little dude grew on me and I think he's really cute. I don't think I would change the colors at all because it makes it very special and unique to this character. If I could add 
another color to make things pop though, I would do a yellow background. It just seems like that would be fitting and fun. This kind of reminds me of my Creatures from Another Planet and my Creatures of Peace series because it's a creature and I love little creatures. So, yeah. Anyway, we are finishing up now. I'm just doing some extra shading on the leaves. The leaves took a while and so did the grass. <laughs> But this was really fun, and I, as I said, I encourage you to try this challenge. If you're new to my channel, I also encourage you to join our art family and subscribe, because it's a fun place here. Alrighty, well, we're finishing up, so yeah. See you guys in another video. Thank you for watching, and have a marvelous day.